Oh boy. This sucks, man. Couple of supermotos here. Paying our respects to our buddy, our buddy Matt. A burn mark in the road right there. He hit a he hit a semi truck head on right here. It was one of my first street riding buddies. I didn't know any good roads and or anything about street riding, and he really helped me out getting into it. Met him from a local forum. I guess he's just known for that kind of awesomeness too. Where's my phone? Oh. <sighs> Pretty effed up. He was a good rider too. One of the better riders I've ever ridden with. With the pass a hay truck. And uh just went head on into a semi truck that was coming down the hill, I guess. Or up the hill, I don't know actually. Which way was he going? Which way was he going? He was going that way? Oh, that makes sense. For some reason, I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, he was going on a, like a personal ride. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty fucking sad. Do you want to go back out? Cut in back to Washougal up here? Yep. Okay. I'm riding with right now actually it's the one who told me what happened to Matt first found out through him I'm not gonna lie I shed a few tears just I don't know we weren't super close but I knew the guy we just re rode together every once in a while and Horrible, horrible thing. Wife and two kids. He was just such a great, great guy. He's gone way too early. He was 40. And just... If you go on the local forum, you can really see how much he impacted the local motorcycle community. Just, just pages and pages and pages condolences on a thread that somebody started about it. it just, he knew so many people, so many people knew him. He was known for taking new riders under his wing and kind of showing them the ropes, keeping them safe, you know, and taking them on some amazing rides along the way. Uh, the last time I rode with him, we uh, went to the beach, and it was a pretty, pretty awesome ride. Probably one of the top three rides I've ever had. Actually, not even gonna lie, like just seriously, 
took me on a route to the coast that it was just so insane. Such a good mix of roads too that we took. From the tightest, twistiest to the nice open sleepers. Not very many straightaways in between. It was an awesome day. Well, it was for me. And his wife actually ended up getting a flat tire on her bike that day. And I'm pretty sure they had to get a tow home. We tried a few different tricks to uh, get the tire full on air, but it didn't work. So he took the tow truck home, and we, uh, me and a couple other riders, took kind of the quicker way home. It was getting late. But uh, yeah, that was, I think, right at the beginning of summer, end of spring. It was just, it was a beautiful day. We ate good food. He took me to some bomb ass burger joint on the seaside. Ate some, drank some good beer and ate some good burger, fries. experienced death in my life. Not of anyone I was really close to. And not that I was particularly close to Matt, but he's definitely the closest person to me that's ever died. And, uh, yeah, it's just really surreal. Can't. days ago. It's the 23rd today. Happened on the 19th. Probably won't ever forget the date because uh, it's the same day as my and my girlfriend's anniversary. And Actually, I have an app on my phone called Pulse Point. It's for medical emergencies. Basically, it's hooked up to the 911 directory. And when someone makes a call, once it gets processed through 911, it goes to this app. And I specifically remember getting the alert for his crash on my phone, too. And I didn't know it was him at the time. And uh, about an hour later, I started seeing on Facebook that the wreck up here on this road was a fatal motorcycle wreck. And I had a whole pretty bad feeling that it might have been someone I knew that was really weird. And I was hoping, hoping it wouldn't be. And then my buddy behind me, Brad, a couple hours after that, messaged me that it was our buddy Matt out riding by himself, kind of, you know, doing the solo thing. It's nice sometimes to ride by yourself. I do it. The last time I, the last big ride I went on was by myself up the Windy Ridge. But, uh, that was like a month ago and I haven't even touched my bike since then. I only got on my bike today to come pay my respects. say about Matt. He's just <laughs> infectious smile and laugh. He make anybody happy. Cheer anybody up. Uh, we're turning here. 